Morning and welcome to Sparks. Yeah, picture a small boy frustrated with the jigsaw puzzle because he's certain that the pieces do not fit and he's not going to see the full picture. We're like this when we doubt. Each doubt makes us feel that, that this time we've found a real problem that is just way bigger than us and too big for God. But shake the pieces up a little, rearrange one or two that we put in the wrong place and everything starts to change. It's not the fault of the puzzle or the picture, it's the fault of the boy. And it's the same with our doubts. What we begin by calling God's problem <clears throat> ends up by seeing as our problem which God solves. The problem of doubt is, is not ultimately a matter of God's faithfulness. It's a matter of our faith. Just as the answer does not ultimately depend on our faith, but it depends on God's faithfulness alone. Any doubt will tend to thrust us away from God. But our experience of his resolve and his love for us, and it can dispel previous doubts and pushes to God. So it's better that we know ourselves, <clears throat> better than we know ourselves, and, and when we do, the more inappropriate our responses seem to be. We better know God better. That's the most important thing, rather than trying to explore our own selves. When it is all said and done, we are still ignorant, we're weak, and we're sinful. How much better it is to pray and get to know what God, who is not ignorant, weak, or sinful at all, but the, <laughs> the opposite of all that. Each of us, however, must be confident. You know, we may be a doubter. As Martin Luther said, a doubter's prayer would, would strike a chord in all of our hearts. Listen to his prayer. Dear Lord, although I'm sure of my position, I am unable to sustain it without thee. Help me or I'm lost. Good prayer. We'll see you tomorrow in Sparks.